Hello everyone, for today's magic card trick tutorial, I thought it'd be neat to share with you an easy color change effect that uh, is perfect for beginner magicians as well as anybody that's been doing magic for quite some time, okay? So you have a regular deck of cards, it's shuffled, well mixed. Have a spectator select any card they like and it is a true and free selection, so let's just assume they pick that card right there. They don't show you, but they look at it, remember it, okay? You take their card and just place it on top of the deck Give the deck a few cuts, just like so, and a magic tap, and boom, one card should change from a red back card into a blue back card in this regular deck of cards. And what was the card that they selected? Was it the 10 of diamonds? Take the 10, place it on the table, and you know there's just like nobody likes being the odd man out, neither does the 10 of diamonds. So if I just rub it on the back of these cards, you can turn the 10 of diamonds back into a red card and that's easy color to change and it's a perfect trick for any magician using a regular deck of cards if you're a beginner or you've been doing tricks for a long time uh, it's really neat and easy to do and uh, before I tell you how to do it please like and subscribe to this video and this channel I really appreciate it, it helps this channel out I'm trying to gain my subscriber count um, I do appreciate it, and if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below as well. I do read the comments and I do answer them, okay? Also, check out thebestmagicshop.com where you can find some awesome new magic tricks, accessories, shirts, bags, and more for yourself or anyone who just likes magic. So now, for the tutorial, you're going to need a special card. You're going to need one of these cards. And you have a regular deck of cards, and it is uh, just uh, red backed. You can use a blue backed you know, deck for this instead of red if you want, if you prefer. But you need one of these double back cards. This is a red, blue, double back card. Um, you can purchase these at a magic shop if you have a brick and mortar shop nearby. Uh, you know, they usually sell individually or you can get a couple of them. Uh, you can also get a, you know, a five pack gaff card set at thebestmagicshop.com for about three bucks and the cost of a postage stamp if you live in the United States, okay? And you get one of these in that as well. But if you uh, can't find these or just can't buy them, um, you can always make one by just, um, if you know how to split cards, you can split these two cards and then glue uh, the backs together if you split them or you can just, you know, glue uh, an old blue card and an old red card back together and you can make this gimmick, okay? Sometimes this is even better because of the uh, color tone of your deck. You're using a real real card from the real deck, okay? So that's just one way of, of getting this, but if you buy them, they're thinner, so they're just regular thickness of a card, so it's usually a little bit better, okay? So the setup is you just have a regular deck of cards, and, and no order or anything. Take this uh, double back card and place it on the bottom of the deck with the blue back side with the red backs of the cards, okay? So the red back with the faces, okay? So all you're doing, and you can, you know, if you spread the cards out, just be careful not to spread this out uh, too much, okay? If you wanna spread it out, or you don't even need to use a table, you can just say, you know, here I have a regular deck of cards, and you just, you know, fan most of the deck out except for the bottom card here, okay? Just showing that they are all red back, okay? Not too important in the beginning of the trick, but because uh, at the end you see that they're all red, especially their card, okay? So um, you can shuffle them, you just be careful, you know, when you shuffle, shuffle a few cards first, and then on your, this is my right hand, I'll shuffle them pretty much out jogged here, so when you riffle down, it'll cover any of that blue card that's shown, okay? And then you just square the cards up in your hand, and then don't do that, you know, be careful, practice that in front of a mirror. And then you can show that, it, you know, it's, you shuffled a regular red deck of cards. Now, you have a spectator just pick any card, and they can pick any card except for the bottom card. So you just have them select any card in the middle. If uh, you're worried about them, you know, always picking the bottom card, just say, you know, as I go through the cards like this and just do a, a dribble, just tell me when to stop and you can get them to select a card like that, okay? You know, say, say, stop there, say, we'll just use that card, okay? So that's just another way, don't worry about people picking the bottom card, always judge your audience. And, you know, if you get a really bad crowd, just move on, don't show them any more tricks, it doesn't matter. Okay, so they pick any card they want. You take their card, in this case, the eight of hearts, you put it on top of the deck, and then just give the deck a regular cut, 
And when you do that, you can cut just regularly as many times as you want. It doesn't matter, okay? Just don't cut to the blue card as you're cutting, okay? And then that just sets that blue card on top of their selected card. So their selected card is here, okay? So when you fan them out, you'll show one card's turn from a red back card into a blue back card, okay? Square the cards up, and then you just do a simple double lift, okay? Which is just turning two cards over as one, okay? So you take the first two top cards and you're just turning them over as one, and that'll be their selected card, okay? So that's the eight of hearts. And now because this had a red back on the other side, okay, it just looks like a regular red card. So you're here, okay, and you can do a double double lift if you flick down two cards, you know, turn it over fancy, boom, just like that. That's another way of doing a double lift. It just all depends, you know, most people just grab two from the side. If you bevel the cards a little bit, you can always, you know, turn over two uh, as one, okay? But it's really important just to get a double in this one, not like a triple or a quadruple, okay? So then take their card, just place it face up on the table. Now you can spread the cards out, you know, on the table, showing that they're all red. Say nobody likes to be the odd man out, so I'm just gonna rub the back of this eight of hearts on the other cards and then turn it over and boom, you show that it's turned back to a red card, okay? And then you can scoop the cards up and then show from the bottom that they are all different, okay? And if you show them enough, you just say, you know, these are all different cards and you're not just, you're not showing this card here, okay? So that's a easy color change effect you can do with a double backed um, red, blue uh, gimmick card. And like I said, you can get this at, um, you know, your local magic shop if you have one, thebestmagicshop.com sells them, you know, for three bucks plus a postage stamp, or you can make your own with a, you know, blue and a red card, okay? And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time.